host, John Brown, Terry O'Neill, and T.D. Trice. Welcome to Uplifted Communities Television Talk Show. This show is to provide information and real strategies for successful living. I'm Terry A. O'Neill. And I'm T.D. Trice. Welcome to today's program. Today we have a very special episode for you. As always, all of our episodes are very special. Indeed and today is no different. <laughs> and so we have a special guest who has come a very, very long way to land onto this program. Her name is Dr. Yan Lee. Welcome, Dr. Lee. To Welcome. The program. Thank what you. comes to mind is that China is an extremely large country, very populous, 1.5 roughly billion people there. And s some of the cities are extremely large. Uh, and it's kind of shocking when you think of Sacramento being a city of about one and a half million. But in China, there are much larger cities uh, than what is here, right? Yeah. And so it's awesome. It is it's just a wonderful thing that Dr. Lee was able to join us to this relatively small city of Sacramento and, and share her experiences here and also share with us, her community, and also medicine, and how uh, the differences, slight differences between Eastern and Western medicine. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming again. Yes, thank you for joining us. So where exactly are you from? And tell us about your hometown. Uh, thank you for your invitation. It's a pleasure and honor for me to be here. Uh, my name is Li Yang, and I come from Changsha City, Hunan Province, which is located in the central south of China. Uh, Changsha is an ancient city, which his uh, history can be traced back 3,000 years ago. Wow. Really? Mm, it's a long time, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and, uh, and Changsha is famous for its beautiful scenery, such as uh, Xiangjiang River, yeah, I think we have a picture of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the uh, Yuelu Mountain, wow. and the museum. And uh, nowadays, it has become a vivid and a creative and a harmless city. Well, welcome to my hometown. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I think uh, we have a picture of that. Would you pull one up for us, Sydney? There you go. Wow. So what are we looking at here? This is the, the river you refer to. What is that? Again? Yeah, Xiangjiang River mm -hmm. is our mother river. Wow. And uh, there is an island in the river. Mm -hmm. We call it uh, Orange uh, Island. Orange Island. Yeah. Wow. And it, it's a statue of Chairman Mao. Wow. It's a big statue. Oh, it, that's the statue. Yes, yeah. that yeah, we're statue. Looking at in the middle that's of the right. picture there. Yeah. Oh, that's a statue of Chairman Mao. Mm, yeah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's amazing. That's beautiful. That yeah. is beautiful. And it's, it's like called the, the, the island Orange is called Island. Orange yeah. Island. Orange yeah. Island. Is, is it because why they, they grow oranges there? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay so it's an orange grove mm -hmm. where, they, where they have oranges there on the island. Yes. And then they have this giant statue of Chairman Mao. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. So okay. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your family? Um, actually, I have a big family. I have wow. three children, one seven-year-old boy and oh, a two. On the next picture, I think. Yeah. Wow. And uh, two one-and-a-half twin sisters. They are lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Here so we go. <laughs> yeah, this is the picture I took this year, and uh, our family members wear the traditional Chinese clothes. Oh, wow. that looks nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I love the dresses. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that's, your, that's your mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your husband's mother. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's your father. Yeah. Your husband's father. Yes. Okay. And that's you in the back. 
Yeah. 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 Yes. With, with you your seven-year-old yeah. son. With your son. <laughs> with my now, son. Do they my still husband. have the law where you can only have two children? Is there? Is that a law? Uh, yes. Uh, y uh, in the past, uh, China has the one-child policy for right. a long time, right. but nowadays uh, every family can have uh, two children. Two children. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the I like the picture there of um, uh, your your parents and your husband. And everyone looks so happy. Yes. Yeah, this is happy. Yeah. Had the Harmless family. I love the the clothes that uh, you had on there. Thank you. What are we looking at here? Oh, okay. This is a picture of mm -hmm. your. These are your 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 girls. Yes. Uh huh. Oh. And your son. Uh, you call him Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. And there's your husband. Yeah, he's a nice guy. I met him uh, a couple weeks ago. He's a nice guy. Thank yes. you. So you yes. have three. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable in China, right? Yes, it is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So what happens if you? Uh, I'm just gonna. You have three children. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Okay, and so the next picture, come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> adorable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what is, what is it? The is that uh, the pajamas there? You see, everyone's matching here. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, they because of their uh, twins and brothers, they look like right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So nice. cute. Nice. Adorable. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the next picture, we have. Okay, another yeah. picture of the family. Also oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Okay, so this is. Um, uh, we know that you're a doctor. Yes. So, which hospital do you work in in China? Uh, let me introduce my hospital to okay. you. Awesome. Uh, uh, I work in Hunan Cancer Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the affiliated cancer hospital of Xiangya uh, Medical School, Central South University. And uh, our hospital, it is ranked in the top 100 hospital in China uh, for its enhancing the complement uh, to Diagnosis and treat different cancer, uh, different kinds of cancer. Mm -hmm. Because cancer is your specialty. Yeah. You are an oncologist. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so you um, you examine uh, people with uh, they they come in with a with a do you diagnose them with the with their cancer? Yes. And you you diagnose them with a specific cancer that they have. Yes. And then you recommend a, a strategy for treatment. Yes. And for um, if they require surgery, you mm. recommend them to a surgeon. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then if they require um, if they do not require surgery, mm -hmm. is this is do you take do you follow that through? Is that your responsibility following through? Yes to their to their getting better. Yes, because my major is uh, integrated traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine on tumor treatment. That is to say, not only I could use uh, Western medicine such as chemotherapy, uh, targeted therapy, immune therapy, but also I use Chinese herbs, uh, acupuncture, max uh, to relieve the patient's pain, to control the tumor, and wow. to enhance the, their quality of life. Yeah. Yes. So, so uh, acupuncture mm -hmm. is a it is a major. <laughs> what I mean, how do how do you how do you learn? I mean, how do you learn acupuncture? How how does that come to be? Do you? Do you go to school for it? Yes. Okay. And is it is it a lengthy, a lengthy learning experience? Like, does it take years? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. When I started in college, uh, my teacher uh, taught us about uh, the traditional Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. which including the uh, something about acupuncture, mm -hmm. and we use the needles to some acupoints mm -hmm. inserted mm -hmm. and uh, maybe it can 
uh, stimulate your uh, internal system of the, your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think uh, we had a discussion one time and you talked about medians. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And yes. What, say, tell us a little bit about medians. Is, is, that, is that, that's the moxibustion? Uh, no. No, no, no. no. Okay, medians no. is... Meridians, right? Meridians. Uh, meridians. Meridians. Okay, right. I said it incorrectly. <laughs> meridians. Yes. Okay. And so meridians, that has to do with the moxibustion. Moxibustion. Uh, that hurts to say. That just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you pr pronounce I, that properly? Uh, I suppose to be moxibustion, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and that's the meridians. Yes. Okay. Uh, it, uh, both acupuncture and moxibustion can be used through the meridians because there are 12 uh, main meridians through your body. Okay. Yeah, we mm -hmm. can cure pa patients mm -hmm. uh, through the meridians. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's very different yeah. approach yeah. than from Western medicine, which mm -hmm. is based in pharmaceuticals. Yes. Right? Right. And, um, it's it's a very different approach with the with the herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause uh, mm, go ahead. Uh, cause uh, traditional Chinese medicine, uh, the abbreviation of it, it is TCM. TCM is an integral part uh, in Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a long history, and I think mm, in the traditional tra tra Chinese medicine which is most important is you should view the patient as a whole. The wholeness concept is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, what you should do is not only focus on the tumor size. Mm -hmm. You should uh, view the whole body. The whole yeah. body. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Interesting. Makes sense. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 It does. A whole different approach. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 That's great. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Um, so, um, so in uh, moving on to the, the, the pictures that we have, um, we had another photograph of the, uh, this is the hospital again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is, this is the back side of the hospital? Or is, is no. It's like the side? Okay. Um, and, and your office is on the top floor there. Uh, it's behind this building. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, okay. Next slide. Okay. Uh, it's about now, my who are we looking at here? This yeah, is the staff. Yeah, it's my stuff. Uh, stuff in my department. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. And you're in that picture somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. The whole team of people there. Mm, wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Outpatient. Yeah. Inpatient. Inpatient. Section yeah, in English. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Thank you. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> okay, and then here, uh, who's this young lady in the front here? Wow, <laughs> I suppose you know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. Beautiful <laughs> a beautiful picture. <laughs> and then, so uh, here, uh, what's happening here? What's happening uh, here? It's about uh, activity uh, we host for the patient. It's a reading day. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the both the doctors and the nurses and the, some of the patients read uh, the articles, poems to the patient, mm -hmm. and uh, to encourage them to face cancer. Wow! Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. And so you have the people on you have the people on the stage mm -hmm. reading poetry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the the patients are off. This off the screen here on the side. Yes. So we cannot see around them. us. Okay, as an okay. audience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very mm -hmm. nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're posing for the for the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Next slide. <laughs> okay. So this picture here, what's happening here? Uh, it's um, the uh, uh, chief director in our department, okay. and uh, he do some uh, free clinic. Uh, mm. to the patients. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Mm. Um, free clinics. Mm. Um, that, um, so that means that the patients don't have to pay anything. Yes. And they come and get advice. Yes. Uh, they, do they get medical treatment as well? Uh, uh, just advice. Just and advice. Get a recommendation. Yes. Ju uh, just advice. But uh, 
uh, we, sometimes we uh, give the prescriptions about Chinese herbs mm -hmm. yeah, to them. Nice. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, yeah, right next slide. Okay, so here. Um, this is the community, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is Can we talk a little bit about the community? Your, yeah. your community and what, what's that environment like in the community? Uh, my community is in the Yuelu district. And uh, I think the biggest uh, difference is between the uh, community in China and America mm -hmm. is because China has a large population mm -hmm. and the population is concentrated. Uh, in our community, most people are living in the apartments, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's quite lively. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, quite lively. So, in order to uh, solve the uh, livelihood issues of the community, we have drug stores, we have the different kinds of shops, mm -hmm. we have a hospital, mm -hmm. we have kindergarten, we have primary school. It's very close to us and uh, it's convenient. Mm -hmm. So yeah. is it because the population is, is so large, is that why you guys have apartments as opposed to home, homes? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. For but space. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, but in America, here, mm -hmm. I live in a, a small and beautiful house, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I can see lovely squirrels in the street, which, <laughs> which is not common in China. <laughs> okay, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All along T Street, yeah. it's a lot of squirrels. Yes. Yes, a yeah. lot of squirrels running all over the place. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, here, if this, is a, this is typical of a market, uh, yes. marketplace, uh, yes. and I, I see all the variety of vegetables there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yes, yes, the carrots and the tom tomatoes mm -hmm. uh, and cauliflower, yeah. broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. Yes, asparagus. Uh -huh. And uh, potatoes. potatoes. Nice. It's ready for Thanksgiving. It's ready for Thanksgiving. Yes. And, well, and, everything for the holidays. and the holidays. Right. But right. no right. turkey. <laughs> no no <laughs> turkey. <laughs> Vegetarian meals yeah. only. Right. Yeah. Well, they do not celebrate Thanksgiving right. in right. China right. because right. that's an American holiday. Exactly. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, but but they do celebrate Christmas. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's right. Wow. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Next slide. Okay, now what are we looking at here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, me <laughs> and my uh, son staffs in our hospital. Mm -hmm. We uh, do the free clinic for oh. the community yeah, residents. Community okay, yes. nice. Yes, and yes. the people come to us and ask about uh, some knowledge about cancer treatment or uh, ask the uh, suggestion for their relatives or friends. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So is cancer really prevalent out there? I mean, it must be very, is there a large percentage of? Yes, and uh, I think mm, for some reason, maybe we do uh, more exam than ever before. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, nowadays people are uh, aware, uh, have the, they have the awareness of mm -hmm. Uh, to pretend cancer, but mm -hmm. sometimes they don't know how to do it because mm -hmm. the purpose of the activity is to enhance the, aw the awareness right. Right. Mm -hmm. of right. preventing cancer, mm -hmm. yes. such okay. as quit smoking, right. yeah, no smoking, mm -hmm. and a reasonable diet, uh, exercises properly, mm -hmm. and a happy mood, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Happy mood is so important. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's to prevent cancer in a way, right? Mm -hmm. right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, here in America, a lot of the, a lot of the cancer issues are are based around stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stress and stressful, stressful situations that yes. we find ourselves in, um, and so there's a there is or has been a push to. Um, to do, uh, like you said, exercises mm -hmm. and like meditation. that. Meditation. Meditation. Is yoga. A good one. Yeah. Yeah. Yoga. Yeah. 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 Yoga, and uh, there's a chakra meditation. Mm -hmm. there's, there's different is strategies yeah. mm -hmm. to relieve the stress yes. uh, from your system, which in turn gives your body 
your spirit. We're energy. All, yes. We're all just stressed out over here, okay? Yes. We're just stressed. We need to woosa. We need we all should be meditating. <laughs> yeah. It should be required daily. It should. It should but be. you look great a lot. Yeah. yeah. I meditate daily. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, I meditate daily. Right. And um, I try to pray daily. I would like to meditate daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I meditate yeah. daily. I get up a little early, uh, wake up a little early every day mm -hmm. and just use that time yeah. to uh calm my mind and my thoughts mm -hmm. and think good thoughts think good thoughts as best as yes. much as i can you know um my my mom used to say to me uh think good thoughts dream good dreams uh yes i totally agree with you guys and i heard americans saying like that uh, one day in Napa keeps dogs away, right? Yes, yes. Napa a day, day keeps, keeps, keeps the doctor away. away. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. But when the doctor's so friendly okay. and nice, then you know he can come around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So um, you're welcome. And uh, so, as a doctor, how do you improve your community? Wow, well, just like the picture in that. Mm -hmm. And yes, we do some free. Uh, free clinical mm -hmm. to the community residents regularly mm -hmm. and uh, to tell them the common knowledge about how to prevent cancer and sometimes I go to the kindergarten to oh, nice. uh, teach the kids some uh, common knowledge about uh, health yeah. yes yes nice yes nice. that's what we do mm. very good uh, pull up that next picture. I think that actually we have um, some imagery here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Is this is uh, that's you, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, this is one of your one of your clinics. Yeah. One of your free clinics. Yeah. Okay. Free clinics. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Nice. Next slide. Oh well. we'll Okay, and these are some of the doctors uh, yeah. that yeah, are uh, assist in the free clinic yes. for the community, mm -hmm. Yes. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the doctors, um, they're, they're not the same doctors every time. Yes. The doctors switch out. Switch out. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and they come from different provinces, uh, different areas? Different uh, departments. Different departments? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and Oh, so then they come from different departments, so they also talk about, are able to help in different areas. Yes, some yeah. of them may be uh, cardiologists, some mm -hmm. of them pulmonary doctors, mm -hmm. some of them may cancer uh, about the oncologist, mm -hmm. right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, pulmonary has to do with respiratory medicine, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm teasing your buddy over there, yeah, okay. uh, uh, who also is joining us in the audience. Um, okay, next slide. Okay, and again, this is you with the um, uh, free clinic, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, what kind of questions do they ask you when you're at these free clinics? Uh, most, uh, uh, I, I think the frequent question they ask uh, is about uh, uh, how to prevent cancer mm -hmm. and uh, uh, smoking is the main reason to cause lung cancer. Is it real or not? Mm -hmm. Well, right. mm -hmm. okay. Okay, very right. good. Okay. Uh, and then here, wow. the uh, you're yeah. this is where you are giving uh, it, kids. Yes. Yeah. yes. I give uh, the lectures about uh, some uh, uh, common knowledge about health care mm -hmm. uh, to the kids mm -hmm. in the kindergarten. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> what, what, what do you say to them that they can understand? Yeah, they're curious about everything. Yes, mm -hmm. they yes, are. Yes, and uh, they know uh, the, pe the people, they should have the uh, regular pace, mm -hmm. the heartbeat, and wow. uh, the temperature. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know them. I teach them to wash your hands yes. regularly yes. and uh, uh, pay attention mm -hmm. to your body. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. Wow. So we have uh, explored um, and, and obtained some, 
some amazing information today. Yes. Thank indeed. you so much for uh, sharing well, your information and knowledge with us. Okay. Uh, I know that there's a lot of viewers out there mm -hmm. who have no idea mm -hmm. about Chinese culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, about Chinese medicine, Chinese medicine yes. yes, and so I'm sure that there are some viewers out there who are going to benefit yes. mm -hmm. from Absolutely. this information. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm sure that they're they're tempted to go online and Google Chinese herbal medicine, moxibustion. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> wow, I said it right. Well, how do we spell that? M O X I. <laughs> B U S T I O N. Trying to sound smart. Okay. Well, I, I, I saw the word, but seeing it and saying it are two different things. Thank you. you know, and, and the only the only relationship I can get is combustion, mm -hmm. right. which is spelled pretty much the same way, but moxibustion. Mm -hmm. Moxibustion. Moxibustion. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and you also, learned a lot today. I know, and acupuncture. Yeah. Yes. And acupuncture. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, it, when you get a chance, well, thank you, first of all, thank you so much for watching our program today. But when you get a chance, go on to Facebook and friend us. Yes. We are like at Uplifting Communities, the TV talk show. Friend us on Facebook. Also look for us on Instagram and Twitter. And be sure to like us and follow us. Yes. And also, I'd like to give a big um, uh, thanks and prayers to our program creator, John L. Brown. Uh, he is not feeling well today, but he's good and getting better. Get uh, well soon, John. Yes. Yeah, get well. Uh, and in addition to that, I'd also like to thank the crew, uh, Megan and Sydney. Yes. For uh, helping put things together. Uh, uh, also to uh, Dr. Sophia and uh, Emin, who <laughs> came to visit us today all the way from mainland China. Wow. And I know it's a long ways to be right here on the yes. Uplifting yes. Communities TV exactly. show. And also, finally, when you get a chance, uh, consider being a friend of Access Sacramento. Access Sacramento is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so your donations to this organization are fully tax deductible. Give whatever you yes. can. Right, right. <laughs> It's the season to give. Yes, it's, it is. <laughs> okay. It's that time of year. It's that yes. time of year. <laughs> and so with that, my name is T.D. Trice. I'm Terry A. O'Neill. Thank you for watching. And for our guest, Dr. Yang Lee, thank you for watching the Uplifting Communities TV talk show. See you next time. Get it right. Don't get it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up there.